if people think that there are not after life existed, and there are not consequence for their actions, then they will do all they want in this life. But if there are after life and we don't prepare for it, then we might miss the chance to eternity, and it is an eternal loss. Look back history and worldly situation, emperors, kings, and countries leaders life is not as rosy as we think. The rich and famous life without peace and joyful heart, it is not a good life. Live a life just for themselves and don't care about others, it is not an abundant life. Why this world are full of sufferings and chaos? The root of problem is human away from God, and Satan is the ruler of this world. John 10:10, 10, 10, Jesus said, I came that they may have life, and may have it abundantly. By the grace of God, we still can have abundant life in this wicked world. To know God's purpose for created us, and it will gives us the true meaning of life. Ephesians 2.10 For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Do good works are our duty and nothing can be proud of, but walk extra miles can lead us to live abundantly. Happiness is not a life without turbulence and no suffering, it is a life which God's presence within us and our life are attached with Jesus, the vine. We are branches and remain with the vine, it will not only get life, but also bear the spiritual fruits. The abundance of our lives are not determined by how long we live, but how well we live. Luke 10:27 He answered Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself Love for others caring for others sharing for others these are the actions of love your neighbor as yourself We not only helping people physically but also spiritually, and spread the gospel, helping people back to true God. James 5.20 Whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Some people believe that no future judgment existed, but Matthews 13.24-30 revealed to us the God's future judgment. It is the parable of the weeds, the wheat is represented as people don't follow God's commands, and the wheat is represented as people follow the God's commands. Matthew 13.30 Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned, then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. When the God's judgment day come, our God will separate the wheat from the wheat, the wheat will burn and the wheat will keep by our Lord. Good news is the door of God's grace still widely open now. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Romans 6.23 for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Physical things will decay, so store treasures in heaven where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. Without God's salvation, we will live a life without God, without hope in Christ, and without vision of heaven. With God's salvation, we can go back to true God, have abundant life on earth, and eternal life in heaven. The life on earth is temporary, our earthly home is not our permanent home, we are just traveling through it.
Our life on earth just lasts 70 or 80 years, at most, we will live 100 years on earth, but our permanent home is new heaven and new earth. John 14 2-3, My father's house has many rooms, if that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. We will resurrect it and gain non-perishing body when Jesus' second coming, he can take us to eternal home. We believe that our God had created this world, we also believe that he can reconstruct this world to become future new heaven and new earth. There is no human sin, no Satan's temptation, no death, no suffering, no tear, and no pain. New heaven and new earth is the perfect place to live. Acts 4.12 Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Jeremiah 29.11 for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. By choosing to believe God, and take responsibility for our life, we will immediately gain an increased power to achieve our greatest potential. Human life is fragile, and our life on earth are limited, so don't delay. Believe in Lord Jesus, it not only the right thing to do, but also will reap blessing from our Lord, abundant life on earth and eternal life in heaven.